grandma the asshole for telling my dad there will be no making up for missing my high school graduation. IAT male am graduating high school at the end of the month. My dad dropped a bomb on me two nights ago that his stepdaughter has an award ceremony for some competition she entered and won in a different state on that same day and that she really wants him to be there. He told me he couldn't possibly make it to both since his wife and their children together will be going. He needs to be there too. He told me he would make it up to me and we could celebrate another time. Sir, you are never going to see your son again. And I don't feel bad for you. You are never going to see your son again. You mean to tell me you left, you chose, you chose to not go to your son's graduation over your stepdaughter's winning a competition, something that she's going to be able to do multiple times throughout her fucking life. But you only graduate from high school once in your goddamn life. And you would rather go see her accept an award for a competition that she can enter into next year and participate into again over your son graduating fucking high school. A once in a lifetime milestone. You suck, sir. You're never going to see your kid again once he leaves. I still live with my dad, not for much longer. My mom died when I was seven and my dad got married again when I was 11 or 12. It's been a few years anyway. His stepdaughter never knew her bio dad, so my dad has accepted her as his own and he's prioritized her a lot in the last five or six years. It doesn't always show in the most obvious ways, but it can be felt. Father and son time was put in an indefinite hiatus and instead my dad told me we needed to include her in our time together but he also spent time with just her for father-daughter time. I brought it up to my dad and he told me I wasn't exactly making an effort to be closer to her. So he wanted us all to bond and didn't want me to just focus on my relationship with him. What type of shit is that? We can't just have our one-on-one -on -one father and son time because we need to focus on including her and making her feel like a part of the family. But you need to understand that I am going to have father-daughter time with her because I want to focus on my relationship with her. But you need to work, work on getting close to her and not focus on my relationship with you. That's bullshit. That is bullshit. You are literally telling your son that you need to support everybody and he needs to be okay with not getting any type of support in return. That is fucked up. That is so fucked up. This boy was 11 or 12 when his dad remarried. Four years after his mom passed away, he's left with the only parent he's got and this parent starts to push him away for a fucking child that's not his and then tell him that he's doing something bad when he starts to complain about the fact that his relationship with his father is literally deteriorating in front of his eyes. My dad has attended her dance things instead of my basketball games if they're scheduled at the same time. It doesn't matter if mine was known about first, he will skip my stuff to go to hers. He will take us on a family day and whenever he and his wife say the kids can choose, he'll pick her choice over mine. He claims it's because it'll be the most fun for everyone, but really, he's even said it afterwards, anything his little princess wants. Our refrigerator and our shower broke at the same time once. His stepdaughter's birthday was coming up, so he took money from my birthday fund to pay for that stuff so that his stepdaughter would definitely get what she wanted. It was a Barbie house thing and a whole fashion set, and they were about $250. Dad didn't get all the money back by the time my birthday came around, so instead, he bought me a $30 gift card for Steam when he promised me a new monitor and a keyboard from my computer. That was a gift from my grandparents. That fucking sucks. That fucking sucks so much. You had the money to pay for the necessary repairs that you needed. But instead, you took the money from your son's birthday fund because you wanted to make sure that your stepdaughter's birthday was perfect. Did not bother. You can't tell me this man bothered because if you took $250 out to fix the refrigerator and the shower and then only gave him $30, there's no way in fucking hell you tried to put the money back. You didn't even fucking try. You didn't give a damn whether this baby enjoyed his birthday or not. Oh my God. Tell your daddy to come outside. I just want to talk to him just for a little bit. When my dad told me that he wouldn't be at my graduation and he was going to support her, I told him there was no making up for that and he can forget about being included in my life going forward. 
He told me he would make it up to me. And I told him that I've always come second to his little princess and I'm not gonna be okay with that. I told him he's discarded me for the last time. My dad begged me to be reasonable, but I walked away. Then I invited both sets of my grandparents who agreed to come. His wife told me that I could have come with them. So you want me to not go to my high school graduation to support your fucking daughter? Well, you could have come with us. That's besides the fucking point. That is not the goddamn problem. The problem is that you guys are expecting me to just pretend like this milestone is not happening. His wife told me that I could have come with them and I don't need to attend the ceremony, but I could support my sister. I said, her daughters are not my sisters and I do not want to support their family anymore. I'll be out of their hair real soon. She called me selfish and told me that I can't deny her daughter a dad. Am I the asshole? No, absolutely not. You are not the asshole. They want you to continue to support this family that is not offering you any type of support whatso fucking ever. Graduating from high school is a once in a lifetime thing. It is something you only get to do one time. You can go to school from now until you leave this goddamn rock we call earth. But you only graduate high school one time, one time. And to know that your parent, your father is choosing to not come because a dance competition is more important to him will always be something that hurts. It will always fucking hurt. Baby, no, you're not the asshole. You are absolutely not the asshole. I am so sorry that you are having to deal with this. Are you in California? Because I would love to come to your graduation. People that deserve to watch you walk across the stage are gonna be there. Your dad and his family, they don't deserve to get to watch you achieve one of the first things that you're gonna achieve in your adult life. They don't deserve it. Your grandparents are gonna be there. Invite your friends, invite your friends' family, invite anybody that you can think that would be happy to watch you walk across the stage. Forget them. You've already made the decision that your dad is no longer gonna be an active part of your life. Now you can start surrounding yourself by people that actually love you. It kind of makes me sad that my only suggestion to you would be no contact because you're 18 years old and I never wanna encourage someone to cut off their family at such a young age. But the only way you are going to escape this type of pain is to eliminate your dad from your life. Because as long as he is an active part of your life, you are always going to come second to his stepdaughter. Right now, it's you need to support her because she doesn't feel welcome in the family. We want to make her feel like she's a part of the family. Now, because you're 18, it's going to be, I can't believe you're jealous of a child. You're an adult now. You need to grow up. It's never going to get any better. It's not going to get any easier. He's not going to wake up next year, next month, tomorrow with this realization and this epiphany that's going to make him see the error of his ways. It's not going to happen. The only way for you to free yourself from this pain is to get rid of the person that is causing you to feel this way. Sister-in-law is offended that she wasn't informed about my pregnancy. I got pregnant in November. Previous to this, I had a very difficult miscarriage. So this time around, I decided not to tell anyone until the pregnancy was 12 weeks along. A couple of times during those initial 12 weeks, my sister-in-law would ask point blank if I was pregnant. Is that not rude as fuck? Like you're not just supposed to randomly ask women, are you pregnant? No. Because, bitch, what if I've just been eating really, really good lately and I'm just fat? That is so rude. I always tried to politely brush it off and just hold my belly and say that I love food, implying that I was fat. Once 12 weeks rolled around, my husband and I told my parents and his parents. I guess his parents told his sister, but that didn't bother me too much. I figured it's past 12 weeks, so it's not a secret. Sister-in-law had been pregnant before, so she knows how private these things can be. Well, apparently, I was wrong. My in-laws had a gathering at my husband's grandmother's house, and several times, sister-in-law brought up how I'm pregnant, and she called it. Okay, bitch, do you want a cookie? Like, I'm not understanding. What, what is the, what's the fucking importance? I knew you were pregnant. Bitch, are you clocking every time I bounce up on it? I don't understand. 
I don't understand. Okay. Congratulations. Like what, what, what's so fucking important about you calling out that I was fucking pregnant? Clearly, if I didn't confirm it, it's because I didn't want to back the fuck off. Several times, sister-in-law brought up how I'm pregnant and she called it. At one point, she called me a liar because I didn't confirm with her when she asked point blank. Bitch, read the room. I just kept looking away and people were giving her weird looks but not confronting her. Nobody was really even speaking to her. She was just talking loudly to herself. She didn't just drop the subject. So I looked her straight in the eye and I said, why are you so obsessed with my uterus? No, for real. No, for real. Why are you so obsessed with my uterus? It seems a bit weird. She got offended and called me a liar again for not confirming with her when she asked me point blank. I looked at her again and said, asking if someone is pregnant is a really rude question. Thank you. Thank you. Because I asked that like that's rude as fuck. I don't know why you think it's appropriate. But of course, if you always want to be the first to know, I can text you post coitally every time. <laughs> no no she said i can text you every time after we get done oh no no i told her but of course if you always want to be the first to know i can text you post quarterly every time i'm intimate with your brother that way you can even have the astrology sign of the future baby figured out ma'am <laughs> i love that so you better than me because I wouldn't have even came up with that response. I love it. I love it. She looked at me disgusted and just kept saying it's wrong to lie. And my husband and I and our toddler left. I burst into tears as soon as we left, but my husband was completely on my side about it. His mom even called me the next day to say she spoke to sister-in-law to tell her she was inappropriate. Sister-in-law now refuses to look at me for any family functions. It's easier for me. A win is a win. A win is a fucking win. Now you don't got to worry about her saying shit else to you because she won't even so much as look at you. That's great. I bet you I enjoy all y'all family functions now, huh? I know I know you actually go and, and have a good time. I love that for you. I love that for you so much.